Okay, the next of the basic cuts is going to be kiriage, or cutting up uh, gyaku kesagiri, cutting up at a 45 degree angle. So as I'm sure you can already uh, tell, we're going to follow the sequence of the kihon toho. First cut to the head, ich, dogiri, ni, kesagiri, kesagiri. Now from here, I turn the weapon, all right, and I pivot with my right hand like this. I want to keep the weapon in front of me. I don't want to draw the weapon back and create an opening for my opponent. This creates bad habit. So from here, I've done this cut. The right hand turns palm over as the left hand comes and I cut up, pulling my left hand to my body. And I cut up from the ribs to the shoulder. Then of course I switch my feet and I cut up from the ribs to the shoulder. And back to your kamai. Now each of these cuts of course can be practiced from Sagan no kamai. Coming up and cutting in that manner, that's fine. And you can practice these individually uh, by themselves or you can practice them against uh, a cutting mat. That's fine. But this brings me to the point of the correct ashi sabaki, or the correct footwork, when we're practicing the kihon toho. Now, without the use of the sword, the footwork is going to be as follows. The first cut, karataki wari, is going to be forward with the right foot, then forward with the left foot. Then, as I cut kesagiri, it's going to be to the angle, 45 degree angle as I'm cutting down, then 45 degree angle as I'm cutting down, then 45 degree angle as I'm cutting up, and then 45 degree angle as I'm cutting up. And as you begin to advance your training, of course, you can move forward and back. Each one of these cuts, I can advance a step, I can stay in place, or I can move back with each cut. So I'd like you to experiment with those on your own training, but please be aware the angular cuts in the basics, I'd like you to move at an angle. Uh, so with our training partner. I'm gonna go Each, ni, sun, she, go, broke. And this is gyaku kesagiri. Uh, one other thing I want to add in this exercise when you're practicing this, even if you're the uke and you're standing there in shizen, maintain constant zanshin or awareness and focus on your training partner. Don't look out the window or look around while he's doing his exercise. This is a very, very important practice. <laughs> 